Uh, Shalom, Shalom. Okay. Um, okay, just regarding Sabaoth again. Uh, you know how we have seventh heavens, and you know how in the book it always it refers to him as the Lord of Hosts, right? The Lord of Hosts, right? Okay. So. Mind you, we know that he's a he. Okay, because, you know, the scripture said so. Now, we're going to scroll down here. It says, Sabaoth resembles the Hebrew for host, as in Lord of host. Lord of host. He was made Lord of host from Sophia. He became, she gave him power because he repented. Because he praised her, he lifted her up when he seen her. So she gave him power over all the host of heaven. Lord of host, Sabaoth, he is the Lord of host. This is Yahweh Sabaoth, the Lord of of host. What's this right here? What's up for 12? Where was that? 16? Let's see what 12 is. The child opened his eyes and saw his father, and he said to him, Hey, so his father called him Yahweh. Oh, Yahweh. You see, this is uh, Yahweh creates heaven and earth and produces sons. I'm going to read this fucking. <laughs> I'm going to read this. When the ruler saw his greatness, he saw only himself and nothing else except water and darkness. He thought that only he existed. His thoughts was completed by means of the word, and it appeared as a spirit moving to and fro over the waters. When the spirit appeared, the ruler separated the water substance to one region and the dry substance to another region. From matter, the ruler created for himself a dwelling place and called it heaven. And from matter, keyword matter, we'll talk about that later. The ruler created for himself a dwelling place and called it heaven. And from matter, he created a footstool and called it earth. What is that word? Now, I'm pretty sure we all know this. See, this this channel is it's not carnal now. I, I, I'll leave that carnal stuff for my other brothers. But this is for the people who are past that, who want to know more, who, who want to know outside of this box. Okay, some things has been some, some things has been twisted, y'all, and. Y'all gonna have to be his little children, all right? Because I'm also gonna go over the actual doctrines of Yahweh Shai. Because in the 1611, it doesn't really go over his doctrines at all. There's no reason for why the stuff that he was saying in the 1611 for people to try to kill him. Because think about this: if he knew the law, and they knew the law, and if he, all he was doing was preaching the law, if that's all he was doing, why would they be mad at him? Unless he was saying something else. He was teaching his disciples all of this stuff. Okay? And all they knew was Sabaoth. They didn't know all these other things above Sabaoth. You get me? Okay, let me see. When the spirit appeared, the ruler separated the water substance to one region and the dry substance to another region from matter the ruler created for himself a dwelling place and called it heaven and from matter he created a footstool and called it earth after this the ruler had thought in accordance with his nature and he created an androgynous being by means of the word he opened his mouth and cooed to him the child opened his eyes saw his father and he said to him e so he called so his father called him yeo a form of ineffable divine name Yahweh. In Greek, Yeo is spelled Ao, and the first letter is pronounced with long uh, blah 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 blah. Okay? 
Yahweh. And that was his firstborn. Now, if I need to show y'all who his firstborn was, and I don't want y'all to get mad, but. <laughs> This firstborn he got when he defiled Eve, which oh, have this together. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm just winging shit. You have to, <laughs> you have to bear with me here. I'm just winging all kinds of shit here. Uh, Okay. It's Cain, Abel, and Seth and Nora. As seems to be the case here, Cain is sometimes considered to be the son of Eve and the rulers of this world. I gotta find the second book here. Cain and Abel are the sons of Eve and y'all de Baal. Sons of Eve and y'all de Baal. Cause Seth was Adam's only son. Cain and Abel was not the sons of Adam, okay? This was Yahweh. Abel, as they called him, was Elohim. But I, I gotta get ready to go back to work. But damn it. Hold on. Please. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Anyway, I gotta go. <laughs> so, so, uh, yeah.